Hi everyone, welcome to Tammy's Creative Cards and Crafts. Thank you so much for coming by this afternoon. I'm so glad that you're here and I just want to share with you a couple of things this afternoon I've been working on. Um, I'm going to uh, do some cards and I have a little um, post-it, um, cute little post-it tutorial and um, I've had a couple requests um, for to update on the bag that I was working on. So I have finished my second bag. Um, I had posted the first bag that I uh, was working on and finished that one. I'll just show you that one again. That was the um, carry-on bag that I made and designed myself. And just to update everybody, this is it here. Um, I'm very proud of it. Um, I worked on it myself and uh, very happy with it. Try to get it all in the shot here. It's a, a double zipper. It's all lined inside and it has beautiful uh, turquoise pockets. Um, they're all measured. One side is measured for my iPad and cords and stuff and the other side is for cell phone and I put my beautiful paw prints in honor of my sweet uh, puppy that we used to have and of course my um, iconic stamp that goes on all my everything that I make I put my stamp on and it's my sweetheart's little paw print um, that I had done when he was still alive. And uh, as I said, it's a double zipper and it has a, paw, um, a pocket in the front and in the back. It also has a cushion bottom. It's made from um, home decor fabric. It's a nice canvas and um, it's all, I did the interfacing and everything on the bottom. So it's very, very sturdy. It's got some um, webbing, uh, cotton webbing handles. So I'm really proud of it. And uh, this is the second bag that I made to go with it. Beca because I have MS, I didn't want to have anything that I would have to carry my hands. I wanted something that would be hands-free. So I was looking for something that I would be able to just have like a crossbody. So I designed a cute little crossbody bag and I think it's really sweet. I put the pocket in the front. Again, it's lined with the little dog paw print and it's got the same zipper, not a double zipper, but the same type of zipper at the top. And again, it's all lined inside with the dog paw print. And there's that beautiful blue um, turquoise fabric inside. There's a nice uh, big pocket in there as well for my phone or whatever I need to put in there. I also uh, did follow it up with an adjustable handle or sorry strap. And it is the um, one inch cotton webbing uh, on this purse with the uh, carry-on, it's one and a half. So I'm pretty proud of the bag. And um, I plan on make, I have enough material to make one more piece to complete the set, which I plan on making an iPad um, cover and um, mini planner to go with it. And that'll go inside the carry-on. So that'll complete my set. And, I'm turning 50 this year in May and I plan on, my husband and I are planning on a little trip and it'll be going on our trip, my little three piece set. So I just wanted to update people because they were asking about uh, the bags and saying how nice they were and thank you so much. I really appreciate all your wonderful comments. It really makes me feel nice that um, everybody uh, liked the, the work that I have uh, done so far. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your 
your kind comments. So this afternoon, I thought we would have some fun with um, a little stamp set that I've had for a little while. It's absolutely adorable. And um, I made this little um, post-it note um, holder, which is I think is absolutely sweet. It's from the Tim Holtz set, um, and this is the dog set. I have the uh, Tim Holtz dies, and there's six dogs with this die set, and it has also the bone, the ball, the little dog bowl, the leash, which is really sweet, and I also have the uh, stamp set to match, and they're really adorable. Every one of these dogs are adorable. So if you're a dog lover, pick up this set because it's really precious. And so anyways, I made this really is easy um, little post-it note holder, um, which we can put together really quickly. And then I'm going to show you uh, three cards that uh, we can put together and you can give them as a set. You can have them all separate for little gifts or whatever you'd like. It's totally up to you. And I, I really love the little sediment here. I really dig you. So that's really cute with the dog. So let's get started. So like I said, this is really easy to make. I'm using uh, the paper here is, sorry for the noise, just give me one foot. The paper that I'm using is the color is Tempting Turquoise by uh, Stamping Up and your uh, piece of paper that you'll need for the blue um, the size is eight and five eighths by three and a quarter so that's the size that I have here and you're going to score that at three, or sorry, uh, one and three quarters. And this is going to, these score marks are going to change depending on how big your post-it notes are. Okay, now these are, this is like the 3M post-its. But if you're using the dollar store ones, you might not have a thicker, a thicker stack, or depending on what brand you're using, it may not be as thick. You might not choose not to use as many. So you're going to make your score marks whatever um, you know dimension that you're using. That's totally up to you. This is just what I'm using. I just decided to use a packet of the uh, post-its and um, so this is the, the dimensions for that. So the first again, one again is one and three quarters, uh, two and one eighth, and then five and one eighth. And five and five eighths. And you're just going to use your uh, bone folder there to uh, fold all the lines. I hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday. I have been enjoying mine. I've been in my craft room most of the day, just playing around with the stamp set, having a lot of fun with that because I've had this stamp set for a little while and I've had it in my stash and I've just decided that I was gonna dig it out today and have some fun with it and I'm excited to uh, start using it. 
So now that you have your score marks all done, I'm going to uh, take a piece of white, Whisper White, and I have this one cut already, but it's cut to, um, just give me a sec here, I'm just going to measure this. This little piece is measured to one and a quarter by three. So this little piece here, one and a quarter by three, and that's the little piece that's going to go on the front. And before I put it on the front, I have a little um, dog paw, prong, paw, sorry, punch. And I'm just gonna put a little punch in the front here. And just kind of center it, look on the, uh, on the back. And try to center it the best you can. Just whatever you can. It might not go in the center, and if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's still going to look cute. And that still looks cute. So uh, it looks really sweet because the uh, blue is behind there. So uh, I'm just going to stick that on there. Just with my uh, snail. And just try to center that in that little piece on the front there. And in the uh, stamp set, I've chose uh, for this post-it note holder, I chose this little dog here. And I have stamped some out uh, because I didn't think that you needed to watch me stamp some. But I have had a couple of requests uh, from people who have watched me do cards and do some coloring that... Um, They've asked me to show some shading. Some people have asked about different shading. And um, you will see coming up when I show some cards uh, that I've done some shading on some different dogs. And I'm sure a lot of you know how to do your own shading and stuff like that. But I thought just quickly I will show you how to do some shading on these three dogs here. It won't take very long. And... Um, if you know how to do that, that's perfectly great. If you don't, then this will be a little part for you. So I just have some uh, basic colors here and I'm using the Stampin' Up uh, blends. So what I like to do is pick the darkest color I'm gonna use first. We'll start with this little dog here and anywhere that he's got like his little darker marks I like to go in like that and I love coloring I find it very relaxing like I said, I've been in my craft room most of the morning. I've had lots of fun doing the other dogs. And um, my husband got up today, made me a wonderful breakfast with bacon and eggs and hash browns and strawberries. And it was wonderful. He even baked croissants. I'm definitely blessed today. I'm blessed every day, but I felt extra special today. Yeah, 
And my subscriber list is going up a little bit, little by little. I'm, I think I'm up to 66 now. I guess I'm trying to get to 100 so we can have a some kind of prize um, draw or contest. So please subscribe to my channel if you like my video. Um, hit the thumbs up if you um, leave me a comment. That would be wonderful. I will definitely um, message you back if you're starting out your ch channel. Let me know and I'll be happy to subscribe to you and pay it forward. So I'm just going in now with the lighter color and I'm trying to pick up the darker as I'm doing that and kind of blending the colors together, but it still highlights the darker area. And you'll see when it's done, how nice that it kind of highlights. Like I said, this is very relaxing. I'm sorry if this is not maybe fast paced for some people. They maybe some people um, don't like watching people color, but you're very free to um, fast forward the video and if you'd like. Hopefully you don't, but if you do do that, that's totally up to you. I'm hoping to do some. Uh, sewing videos coming up possibly this week. If there's anything that you'd like to see, um, put that in the comments. I'd be happy to try some new things. Any cards that you'd like me to do. Um, I do any kind of specialty cards, birthday, special occasions. I'm going to be uh, doing a couple of videos on different folding techniques and stuff for cards. Um, Okay, so now that he's kind of colored in, I'm kind of go back with the um, dark again and just kind of bring again, just touch up a little bit. I love these blending markers there. They're great. You have to use memento ink with this, with these ones. I think he's looking good there. Blend a couple of areas right here. Okay, so he's pretty cute. And a little bit of black here. And a bit of
this color in the blue. the Super Bowl's on this weekend. That's big for a lot of people. My husband's a hockey fan more than a Super Bowl fan, but he likes to watch all sports. And I'll just do his little eyes blue. Cute. So there's our little doggy. He looks pretty cute and he's nicely shaded and um, yeah. So if you would like to see more shading, let me know in the comments. I, I won't shade the other two dogs right now, but like I said, if you want to see more uh, shading, let me know in the comments and I'll do some more videos with different shadings, more intricate uh, pictures and stuff like that. Um, we'll definitely do that. I just don't want to keep the video too long. So I will start on the, um, on the next card. Actually, we have to finish this. So, um, what I, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. So what you would do now is you're going to, uh, take your dog. Um, now I would have him cut out. Now I have this little guy here, which is pretty cute. Um, I could use him and um, attach him here. You're going to attach your post-its in the bottom there with fast fuse or um, tear and tape so it sticks well. And then you're going to um, put that down. And then I just attached the little um, phrase there I really dig you and I just attach that there with some dimensions and that's all there is to it I put a little um, gemstone there for his um, tag on his collar which just is a little bling and I think it's really sweet so there's your little uh, post-it note holder little doggy post-it note holder So, um, the next one I will show you is uh, this card here. And I have a lot of the pieces um, cut out. So what I'm going to do is just basically assemble the card and tell you all the different sizes and everything about to put it together. So again, it's from the Tim Holtz uh, stamp collection, the, the dogs. Um, I have used in this one the little dachshund, the little wiener dog, precious, absolutely precious, one of my favorite ones in the stamp set, and um, I just absolutely love him. Again, shaded, really cute, and I also am using the little dog bowl with the little kibble in there. and. For this card, I chose Real Red uh, from Stampin' Up! Paper and standard size, A2 size, five and a half by four and a quarter. And on the outside, I have a piece of Whisper White and that is uh, the Whisper White. That piece of Whisper White is four by... four by five and a quarter. We're going to attach that on there. So I actually apologize. That piece of white is for the inside. And I have a piece of this car, uh, designer series paper. There's actually two pieces. One's for the inside and one's for the outside. Uh, this piece is cut to one inch by five and a half, and that piece is for the inside. This one is five, uh, one and a half by five 
and a half and this is for the outside and I'm just going to glue this to the outside make sure that's glued really well now these this little um, designer paper are some of my favorites they're actually from Doodlebug Collection. And um, I'll show you the front of that book. Which I just had here and I put somewhere. Sorry, here it is. This is actually a 6x6 six six, uh, Doodlebug uh paper pad called Puppy Love. It's absolutely precious. I have used this paper pad so much that I actually have used almost two of them up. But there's so many, there's little um, cut aparts, little um, one sentence sayings in there, and little trees and grass and the dogs and beautiful paper and um, little crossword sayings. So, so, so cute. Um, so I've used this paper pad a lot on different cards. And the colors, I mean, are terrific. It has all like the primary colors, so it's very easy to match it up to a card. Okay, so we'll use that one on the front. And I will take the little dog here and put some dimensions on him. He is super cute. I'm still missing my bigger dimensions. I have no idea where they took off to, so I think I'm going to have to buy myself some more because these are all the minis, but they still work. So I will just put my little doggy here. So cute. And the little bowl. put it halfway on the hearts and half off and I have this little sentiment that says hot dog it's your birthday which I thought was really sweet because he's like a hot dog or a wiener dog and I'm just going to back that up uh, with some uh, whisper white cardstock but how precious is that so I think I will put that on dimensionals as well. I mean, who wouldn't love to get that as a birthday card? So just center that. here I'm just going to pull this down here so I can make sure it's straight cute and I even have some cute little um, these are, what do you call them, matte sprinkles. If 
thought they'd be really cute on here. It's all about creativity, I think. Wherever you want to put stuff. Sometimes I move stuff around so much, I just make up my mind. Anyways, um, that is sweet. Okay, so I'm just do the uh, center. And I'm just going to glue that on the middle there. side. I mean, how cute is this paper? Okay, and so I have a greeting for the middle of this one. And I have happy birthday stamp, which is from the um, stamp set, uh, stamping up stamp set. Uh, happy birthday, gorgeous. So I'm using the stamp set from that. stamp this first before I just would have put that on there like that just in case I make a mistake and then it's too late but that looks pretty good okay so I'm just going to glue that some little paw prints which are really cute and I'm just going to put some there put some there and those look really sweet so there is one sweet curd and I have uh, the envelope when I do the envelope up I usually like to put something down in the corner so because I have the paw prints I think I'll prints down in the corner to match and just before we're done I have to get the most important stamp the biggest paw print of all is paw And there, so that is one card and one post-it done. Okay, so we'll move on to the next card. I picked out this one, and this one's really cute. Again, from the uh, Tim Holtz and uh, it's just a uh, Again, a piece of, uh, I think this is Tempting Turquoise, 
and it's five and a quarter by four. Five and a quarter by four. And I'm just going to attach this on here. I got this cute little grass, and that's from the um, Doodlebug um, paper pad. Let's put that on the bottom. And our sweet little dog. dimensional pieces are you guys cat lovers dog lovers bird lovers tell me about it I am definitely a dog lover but I love all animals, so. Um, I'm using this little banner um, piece of paper I used from this Stampin' Up! Punch. I'm just going to attach that. little saying here have a ball on your birthday and I backed it up with the tempting turquoise just going to center that on there little banner for inside here. This is another piece of tempting turquoise. Again, it's uh, measured, this one's measured four by five and a quarter. This white piece is, let's see here, three by four and a half. met so many wonderful people on YouTube and everybody has been so kind. I've enjoyed watching all the videos. There's always something new to watch every day. It's hard to believe all the different things that are on the different videos. Never bored watching all the different things. There, so I've just uh, put a little banner there. And I have this stamp set and it says, make a wish, it's your day, happy birthday. And that's from the hello, or happy birthday gorgeous stamp set. Doesn't go in the middle. We'll see. 
see what happens sometimes. good and I think the little paws would look cute on there and I also have little hearts and those are sweet so, there is one more card. Stamp the back. And there's some cute little sweet so there's one more card and the last card is this cute one here and it has two dogs on it and this is used with this embossing folder um, it has paw prints on it you can see that so I did this on this lined paper And I'm using this on Whisper White. Now this video is getting long, so I'm trying to brush this along here. And we're going to turn the card this way this time. These cute little sweeties, this little Weimaraner, this little, I guess, mutt. Um, you see how I shaded the Weimaraner? He's gray, but I took the uh, dark, um, let's see what color, pretty peacock, and I shaded them, but it gives it kind of like a, a nice shading with that color. can use some dimensionals for these little guys. I'm using up all my little scraps of dimensionals. Get all the little pieces around the edge. It's nice to use them up. since I started doing the videos I have been going through my stash and have been finding all kinds of things that I have forgot about so I guess it's a good thing that I'm doing videos because not that I forgot I had these little dogs but I just haven't used them in a while and I love them they're super cute and so it gave me an excuse to pull them out today and play with them, make some cards. And I know that anybody would be happy to get a card with these cute little guys on them. I know my granddaughter would love one of these cards with these dogs. And her birthday's coming up, so. Okay, so I'm just going to place 
this little guy here on the edge. And him over on this side. And I have this little sign that says, so happy together. cute little bow in there. So I'm going to put that in his mouth. And this little I love you sign is sweet. Stick that right there. Um, enamel pieces here and those would look really cute especially with the green Very sweet. Okay, so for the inside, I have uh, the grass, which is really cute. I'm just going to center that. And this was precious. It's a little cut apart. It says, love at first sight. First. Precious. Put it at the top here so people will have a place to sign. My hands are all full of ink. And I have another little bone here so down here and maybe a little dish over here there so precious so there is card number three so we have made, just let me move all this stuff out of the way. So in a short amount of time, we've made that precious card. This one and this one. and this sweet little post-it note holder. For you to see them all. And those are just darling. 
and I hope you enjoyed the video this afternoon. Thank you so much for coming by. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do so. Um, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment. Thank you so much for stopping by, and um, I hope everybody has it, enjoys the rest of their weekend. I look forward to the next video I do for you, and um, yeah, I hope to all um, see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.